Y'all, when these earrings come in it for repair, it's interesting because I feel all y'all energy. You know how something really become you? It's so fly because I can feel the, I smell the perfume. I see the makeup. I even smell the green green. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so dope how, you know, I create these earrings. They literally become y'all once y'all receive them and all y'all energy be in them. Beautiful things have healing in it. And one of the main reasons that I make what I make is due to healing. Black people, we need healing. So when I create these earrings, I create things like you look at this one. This is from a time where we were, our people were, were kings and queens and royalty and then you look at this and you see you know the afro lady with a crown and it just make you feel good about your culture and the, that our culture was at one time a lot of us didn't want to be black i don't know if y'all see in this little clip of this little girl saying i'm ugly i put a little picture up here so y'all can see that and the sister i don't know if that was her mom or someone I don't know, it could have been her mom and when she said that she's She's beautiful. Black women feel that way. They beautiful um, nappy hair. They beautiful locks. At one time, they don't they didn't consider themselves beautiful. You know, when I create these, it's all when you feel when you have self love and you feel beautiful about yourself. In that confidence, it's like you could do anything. So when y'all y'all receive these earrings, when I create them and y'all receive them, it's all about healing to me. Salam Salam family. I'm here to show y'all. Okay, so it's this sister that been ordering from me for years. And she sent these in from Canada. And she want them refurbished. Um, We're going to put a new gloss on them. We're going to give them new hooks. All that. So they still look good for holding up. They just need to be refurbished. You know, after a while, paint is paint. So you can jazz. I do jazz them up. Make them look good. You know, makeup. Um, perfumes, all that type of stuff could get in them. So I'm just showing y'all these before I refurbish them. And usually I can I refurbish them probably probably once after that because you don't want to refurbish them too much and the paint look so thick on it. So I can refurbish these now with this with these right here. Okay. She sent a couple with out matches, and usually I don't do the ones that someone had lost because due to the fact that sometimes the paint has settled, and then you have to kind of like try to really match it up. So with this design, she wanted this lady on both of hers instead of this, and so I just put bold, black, and beautiful on the back because she wanted them. Because usually when you buy this pair, you'll get this and then you'll get that on the other earring. But she wanted them with the lady on the front. So I do, I can't adjust designs, y'all. So usually when you send one earring in, I really don't like to make another one for it. Because sometimes the wood has changed. The thickness of the wood, the, the smoothness. I'm doing this for her because she always support me over and over and over again over the years. So this is over... But 12 pair, 11 pair of earrings that I'm going to refurbish for her. So this is, you know, y'all see how he looked. He's not glittering like he should. Because guess what? I use a different glitter now. See, that's the thing. Like, you know, as you're doing art, you, you, you elevate. So I'm letting y'all see how all these going to look. She just need a little work on her. Um, this right here, you know, I got makeup all that type of stuff on we're gonna wipe all these down and we're gonna get started and then i'm gonna come back i love doing this pair of earrings i'm gonna come back and show y'all once every pair is done this one is not that bad it just don't have a match she lost the match please wear y'all backs y'all so eating too much i mean with this i will have to do a nice little spot there and now make the other one because she lost that one. She lost this one. Um, she lost this one and she lost this one and this one. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five pair. I'm gonna make the other matches to it, and all these right here are just gonna be refurbished up. So y'all just wait in a minute. Y'all gonna see them when they are done. Hey 
Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit what I usually do when I refurbish stuff. This one is not really too much to do. I always wipe them down real good because you know it'd be uh, makeup, all kind of stuff like that on it. So I wipe them down real good. And then what I'm looking at this one, what what I do to refurbish it, I would mainly just like make this glitter a little more on there, and then maybe outline the black. But other than that, the paint is holding pretty good on this pair. Yeah, the paint is holding pretty good. Maybe I'll go around with the black on there. You know, after a while, with anything that's handmade and it's painted, this is wearable art, so it's wear and tear. You know, the hooks might get weak. This is what I usually do to a pair that's not, they don't have too much to be done on it. I just usually, I'm just going to glitter it up. New hooks, new gloss. And then they be ready to go. So that's mainly what I do with refurbishing. I don't do it too many times. I mean, if a hook fall off, of course I could put that back on. But I don't like to do do it too many times because after a while, you don't want the paint to be so thick on the earring. You know, have to look at it and see. Okay, be like, okay, we could probably just do this, do this. But then again, it might just you just might need to get a whole new set. Wearing something that's handmade, it could be it could be refurbished. And some people don't want me to even touch the paint part of it. They just want a new hook on it because they like the oldness look on it. But some people want their stuff to be, you know, just a new attitude. I'm using the gloss black on here instead of matte because it'll make it look more shinier when, once I um, gloss it. So yeah, some of the other pairs, it'll need a little more more work on. This one right here was easy to repair. All right, y'all. So I'll be back with the rest of them and I'll show y'all. I'm not going to show y'all each pair because it's 11 pair to redo. But I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that I do when I refurbish a pair of earrings. So when I come back, y'all will see each pair redone. All right, y'all. I'm back. I have finished refurbishing these earrings they are going to a lovely sister that's been supporting me for years that's in canada and only thing i gotta do is hook them and let me show y'all if y'all can remember how this looked before it's refurbished now so it got it sparkle back and the thing with these earrings y'all if y'all get makeup on them but take a cloth and just wipe them down and just let them and separate them and lay them down because a lot of times the oils from, from the makeup, it start penetrating in it. And, and then what it does, it makes the, the protective coating dull. So make sure, I'm going to start putting that in my packages. Every time you take them out your ear, you just kind of slightly wipe them down with a slight, like a slight damp cloth. I'll show y'all the next ones are these and they came out lovely. Yep. Just showing y'all all the ones that was done and here go another pair with these with these i didn't realize that when i received the unk that it was cracked so i had to do this whole unk over this is the back of them you wouldn't even know this was a set but the thing about when it's a pair and one is damaged i prefer you just to buy a whole other pair yeah so this is the back of them so i had to recreate this all mainly redo this whole set over but this is the original this is a new one and i i believe that i got them close you know well, this is what i wanted to show y'all okay this was a pair one missing i matched these up pretty well because this was a pair that she had ordered and with the design it come you get this and then you get this this how the set look but she requested to have both of these done the same and you can see they look slightly different and see let me show y'all you can see the thickness y'all might can tell but it's a thickness in the wood sometimes with wood i always try to match wood up as close as i can a lot of times the wood be slight different i might switch my wood up i might want the shape smaller or bigger so that's why i prefer you just if you lo lose one just buy a whole new set but they came out pretty good i think i did the best i can for what i had and they came out pretty good. And this is the back of them. This was the one that she sent me. And this is the one I duplicated. Matter of fact, I got another pair that I'm working on. 
with these. I, they they fly. They now this another thing I wanted to show y'all. Okay, right here, she sent me this one in. If you can see, the shape has got a little smaller. I didn't have this size in anymore. Honey, I haven't even refurbished this, but it look good in this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little work on it, and I'm gonna put a little thing here and just send it to her so she can use it as a necklace. And then she can wear. A lot of times when people order, that's why I say size and shape may vary because this was this was another size. You see how they different? To be honest, all these are different sizes. You know, so she got these two and both of them was refurbished and they came out lovely. So I'm going to make this a necklace from her, but I got to refurbish it. You can see it's kind of dull. So those, those. And then this was another pair that she sent one to. Make sure y'all read the description box on refurbishing. Because if you lose one, it's like I can redo it, but it's going to cost it's not going to cost a refurbished price. You send that one and I make it a pin or a necklace. This one was the one she signed. Because you can see like the thing here. And this is the one that I had to redo. Now, the colors of this paint I had to mix up because I didn't have this paint. So I, I had to repaint. I had to sand this, repaint it, and make the colors so they could kind of match. But it, it came out pretty well. And the thickness, the same thing, the thickness of the wood has changed over time. But I matched up pretty good. Read the description box. Plate, make sure you read my shop policies and all that. So, but they came out pretty well. You wouldn't even know. Now they're cousins. They could be sisters that reunited. They came out pretty good. This was a pair that was, she sun both and they just was refurbished. And they so cute. They came out nice. They came out nice, my Medusa. And this was also a pair that she sent me that didn't have a match. So I had to remake them. Um, and you can see in the stain, see this stain has penetrated a little deeper than this stain. So I had to recreate this all over again. And then I had to recreate. I did pretty good, but you can see the difference in the stain. It's got to be glossed on the back. This is the last pair, and they, I mean, they look really good. I just did a little work on them, gave it a little more glitter, and they are dope. And so she also ordered another pair. Let me show y'all them. And they was, they still on a drying rack. They gotta be, I'm gonna gloss them one more time to give it a another gloss. So... Yeah, so this was a pair that she ordered with this order. Oh, it's one more pair that was refurbished. Oh, she um sun one again. <laughs> and I did very well with getting them really, really close. You probably can't even tell which one she sun. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to show y'all these. And I want to thank this sister that always support me. All these earrings are on boabba.com. You can purchase them. If you want to get a pair of earrings that you bought for me a, um, a couple of years ago, a year ago, lost a hook. If you um, just need a little refurbishing because it's paint and it could be refurbished, go to my website and look at, I put the link in the description box and you can send them in and I will redo them. Because after a while, just like anything else needing a paint job, when you're dealing with hand painted earrings, they will need a new paint job. I'm going to thank you all has been supporting me over the years and don't forget when you order from me please read the description box and if you need an order uh, at a certain time inbox me and say i need this order at this time because a lot of times people don't read my shop policies they think they already made read the shop policy if you say i need this order by my birthday and you tell me the date i will get it to you by your birthday if you love this these video if you would like to donate to this channel you could donate as low as a dollar the links are in my description box the paypal and the cash app i have an amazon wish list at the bottom if you want to donate that way i rescue cat i get them fixed i adopt them out to homes last year i got five cats adopted out to homes and i still got more cats that i'm taking care of um outside i'm taking care of two probably like five I have three of them that I got to get fixed. In the house, I'm taking care of three. Each cat 
has a different diet because we have the kittens, we have an older cat, and then we have a, some adult cats. So each one takes three different types of food. Also, if you just need a friend and you're a pet lover, if you're not a pet lover and you want to try it out, check your local shelters and rescue and adopt a pet today. Make sure to pick up litter in your neighborhood. All right, y'all, and be kind to each other. All right. Salam, salam.